Yes, you're on video. You're on the camera now. There's a timeline. The ceremony is, is actually at 1230. Well, I was, we were at the water at the restaurant the other day. It was a birthday party. That's a really neat family photo. That's a good shot. Come in that end. Thank you. For it said that our ability and capacity to love others is a direct relation to the love we receive from our families and friends and the love that John and Stephanie now have for each other is in direct relation to the love they have received from you all. Knowing that you stand with them this day gives them added strength, confidence that will stay with them throughout their new life here in Now some time ago on his wedding day, a young poet by the name of Logan Hughes wrote, Today our hearts have joined and beat as one, our breath is one breath, our touch is in one breath. We are as viewed in a mirror, <laughs> two beings but one life. On this day I have become you, and you have become me, and our lives will be one until the end. John and Stephanie, on this day you will honor one of the most ancient and revered of all human institutions. For thousands of years, couples have joined hands and stood before God and witnesses to pledge their very lives to each other. And today, you both follow in the footsteps of all those who have done so before. You both. Now I'll take on serious and solemn responsibilities as you become the caretakers of each other's very heart and being. In this ceremony, you announce to the world all that is within your heart, the unconditional and joyous love you feel for each other. And although this is a serious occasion, it is also a time to 